Hey guys, it's Carrie Lenahan from Extensions by Carrie J checking in from Studio H, my hammock. I'm just sitting out here in the peace and quiet doing some of my homework. But I was going through my messages and I had a couple of people asking me, I don't know if you guys follow my stories or if you follow the stories at all on Facebook or Instagram. If you don't and don't know what I'm talking about because someone asked me, they were like, I don't even know what the stories are. Up on the top of your Facebook page. I don't know Facebook as well as I do um, Instagram, but if you click on it, and hey Brandon and Tessa, how are you guys? If you click on it, you can follow stories. There's like little excerpts about the day. If you don't do it, do it. It's super fun. They're really fun. You can kind of like capture your whole day or your whole little experience, which is kind of fun. So anyways, I just wanted to check in because somebody was asking me about my shit show the other night on my Instagram story, which was the big old mess of nail products. So I'm gonna fill you guys in on that story. Um, so, but first off, before I get into the story, cause some of you guys are going to tap out, people are always asking NBR hair extensions. Can you wear it in a ponytail? Heck yeah. Got my hair up in a ponytail today. You cannot see the extensions. Fabulous. And then I'm also wearing my little romper from revival salon. These suckers will be gone by the end of the weekend. So get down there. They're super comfortable. It's like dress up jammies. So anyways, um, why am I an idiot? Because you guys saw my nail story. You saw my fingernails all trash. I finally went back in. I found someone. Sakura, she's amazing. She's doing my nails. They're all grown out and ready to go. Well, what do I do? I'm at the supply house yes, a couple days ago. And I think, my, and I used to do nails. For those of you that didn't know me in South Dakota, I was actually a trainer. And used to see acrylic nails. Anyways, so when I'm in there, I'm like, oh, I would like them a little bit thinner. And, I would, and instead of talking to her and telling her I don't want to be her maintenance, I don't want to be picky, so I just kind of don't say anything, but I was like, well, I wish they were this, but whatever, she's taking good care and she's super gentle, so be able to just roll with it. Well, I'm at the beauty supply, and there's a little kit right there of the powder dip nails, because I'm a licensed cosmetologist, I can purchase this, and I think to myself, you know what, for the cost of two or three nail appointments, I can just buy that, and then I can just do it myself, I'll soak them off, I'll tell you what, I only was able to get one hand done because this hand took so long, not only am I not even capable of getting the things off by soaking them, like, I thought I had the right product, I did the nail foil things, the whole deal, and they just would not come off. It's taking forever. So, but then I go to pick dip. So if you guys, have you done the powder dip nails yet? Okay, so powder dip nails, they put a coat on and then they just dip it in, tap, tap, onto the next one. Super easy. Anybody can do it. I would, it would like, if you went in too fast, it lumped. If you went in too slow, it lumped in a different place. These things, like the shape is perfect. I love the shape. That's exactly what I want in the thickness. But if you could see them very well, I don't know if that shows. Look how messed up they are. That's supposed to be one solid fluid color right there on these guys. So anyways, don't do it. Don't do it. Trust your nail professional. But it's just like your hair professional. Trust your hair professional. But now I have to go into Sakura and tell her that I thought I could do it better and I can't and I have to confess and tell her that I did it myself and she's going to be like, you didn't learn the first time, God bless you, you didn't catch on, so now I've caught on. I just need to communicate with my stylist or my nail stylist and let her know what I need and I'm sure she'd be more than happy to shape them a little bit differently or make them a little bit thinner. So that was my shit show. Don't do it. I spent hours. I wasted hours doing that. Wasted hours and wasted like 100, 150 bucks. So let the professionals do it. All right, you guys. Peace out. Have a great weekend. Enjoy. Make it a great hair day. Go forth and radiate. If you're in San Clemente, go down to the Ocean Festival. We were down there this morning. It was pretty awesome. Might head back down there this evening. I think they do live music. So anyways, see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.